How's it going, everybody? So, finally finished building my Game Boy Zero. Done. Completed it. It took me months to get this thing to where it is now. So, give you a little history. Last year, probably October, November, I started building this thing. And I kept having issues with the controller board. Like, I couldn't get any of the buttons to work. Or when I did get them to work, I would put it back, you know, I would have the shell, you know, in half. And I would put it back together and then the board would stop working. Well, what I found out was on the, um, the controller board that everybody recommended, which was the Teensy, I want to say the 3.2, on that board was a little reset button. And every time I closed this thing back up, I was accidentally depressing that button, and it would just open up the circuit and would not allow any signals to get through to the controller board. And because of that, I wasn't able to get the controls to work whenever I had this piece together. So I got frustrated, accidentally fried, I want to say, two of them, and was not able to do what I wanted with it. Kind of sucked. So... After I failed at that, I put it away for a few months because I went through so many of those. I went through a couple of screens, and I was just getting super frustrated with it, and it was not a fun project for me. Uh, so about a week ago, I actually brought, I actually was uh, starting to unpack my apartment here. I just moved in not long ago. Well, yeah, not long. Well, I'll leave it at not long ago. And uh, I found this in one of the boxes, and I looked at it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give this another go. So I did a little bit more research online and found out that you can actually use the GPIO pins on a Raspberry Pi Zero board. Uh, this is the one that was originally in there. There's not anything wrong with it, but because I was not wanting to chance it and risk that something was fried, I mean, you can see where I overheated a couple of spots there. Yeah, I just decided I was going to take off all the pins and I was going to redo the whole thing. And uh, I did it, and you can see... It works. Button button presses work. Uh, so I did that, and then I got frustrated again because I could not get the audio to work. I didn't know what was going on. I put the command line in. wasn't working. You know, before I fried the board, it was. And I realized, A, I accidentally reset the entire... Like, I wiped the entire SD card and redid everything. So that was my bad on that one. And then whenever I put the command line in, I kept seeing the uh, the pound symbols for whenever you're trying to do a new line. And I didn't realize I didn't need to put that in there whenever I copy and pasted the new command line in there. So I accidentally negated the command line. <laughs> and uh, it wouldn't allow the sound to come out. So I just 20 minutes ago fixed the sound issue. And now I have sound on this thing. But... Uh, you can hear it there. Let me go into one of my favorite games here. That's not a game. There we go. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. But yeah, it took me a lot longer than it should have to figure this out. But now that I have it figured out, I'm... I'm so happy. Like, this is my new gaming system. This beats my old Game Boy. Well, it doesn't beat the old Game Boy because I still have that nostalgia for it. I still love playing it. And I'm still waiting for a couple of games to come in so I can play it again. But I can play all my old Nintendo games on here, all the old Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Uh, this is a Super Nintendo game. Uh, I can play Sega on here. And all of that is accomplished through this board right here. And uh, you probably and why I'm playing Super Mario RPG on here. Anybody who has messed with emulating systems, ROMs, and all that, if you've ever tried playing Super Mario RPG on the Raspberry Pi One B, you'll notice that it is it'll bog down a whole lot. Like it just there's not enough processing power for it to play. But if I can get in here. The Pi Zero is just powerful enough that it works. And you won't be able to see it until I get into where I can do a battle and whatnot. So I'll just let this run through, and I'll show you here in a second. Uh, 
Eh. Not easy one-handed. But yeah, you can tell, like, you can hear it. There's music coming out of it now. It's got sound. Uh, of course I do. I've played this game, I've probably beaten this ten times easily since it came out back in the 90s. This is my childhood, this is my favorite game. Like, my childhood favorite game. Yes, I know about timed hits. I'm trying to get you guys into, so you can see the, what I'm talking about. But, this will play pretty much everything from Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega. Um, I've seen people play uh, Nintendo 64 on it. I haven't tried that myself just because I've never found I've never found an emulator that actually worked. So it might work. I might try it on one of my bigger systems. But come here, come here Goomba. There we go. Huh, bogged down a little bit. But it works. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. I'm so excited and happy. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Um, that's the Game Boy. Unlike other people, like I, if I do another one, I'm gonna clean this up a bit. There was supposed to be an H or USB port here, which I didn't do. Uh, it was supposed to have the uh, this operating system in a game cartridge that would go up here, but I was getting frustrated and I couldn't get the pins to work again, so didn't do that. Battery is exactly where the battery should be in the battery slot. It has uh, audio out, uh, volume control. I can't remember what I was going to put there, but something else was going to go there. Um, I do have the L and R buttons. They are just tack switches on the back and that's it that's all there is to it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um yeah i'm gonna play a little bit more super mario rpg now so have a good one